The latest consumer price index, we got our hands on it this morning and it shows inflation remaining very high. Prices rose by half a percent month over month. That's following a much smaller increase a month prior. The CPI measures what we pay for everything from housing to food, utilities and a lot more. And the headline year over year number was 6.4% and that was higher than most economists expected. Joining us live now with some insight on what to make of all this is Ted Rossman. He is senior analyst with Bankrate.com. All right, Ted, so 6.4%. We were hoping the number would come in a little lower than that because, you know, this report is followed by a lot of policymakers and, and you know, we're hoping to get inflation more under control. Talk to us about what that number means and I guess digging into some of it, what's really up and, and what's maybe not so much. Unfortunately, inflation is still very broad based and very persistent. We're feeling it in so many aspects of our lives. The grocery store would be a prime example. Prices there are up 11% year over year. Even though gas prices have come down, they actually ticked up a few percentage points over the past month. Rent is another big one, up 9% year over year. So people are definitely feeling this all over the place leading to higher credit card bills. We know interest rates are up. I think today's report will probably embolden the Fed to maybe raise rates a little bit higher and maybe keep them higher for a little bit longer. Of course, every month we get new data, but inflation's not coming down as quickly as we had hoped. Yeah, I think that's the, the, the bottom line to all of this. Um, you wish it were coming down faster. You touched on this a little bit, but when we when we mention interest rates, um, they really hit people hard when it comes to these credit cards. And if everything is more expensive, you might be putting more on the credit card. I mean, what are you seeing in terms of the type of credit card debt that people are building up as a result of all this? It's a vicious cycle, unfortunately. Yeah, credit card balances are up 15% year over year, according to the New York Fed. There's a good chance that when new data comes out later this week, we'll pass the all time record, which was set just prior to the pandemic. There's also a good chance within the next week or two, the average credit card rate will cross 20% for the first time since we started tracking in the mid 80s. So it's really on all fronts here, just like inflation, which is of course part of this, the higher cost of living, you have to put necessities on the credit card, rates are up, it's harder to pay off those higher balances. A lot of people are wrestling with this. 46% of credit card holders carry debt from month to month. That's up from 39% a year ago. Ted, we just talked about um, how much more expensive cars are, whether you're in the used car market or, or in the new car market. Um, and the numbers were tough. And then we talk about inflation right now more generally, and the number isn't great. I don't want people to, to think all doom and gloom. So what would you tell them in terms of, you know, some good advice in trying to deal with all this, especially for people who are trying to balance the debt, right? There are some things that you should focus on on paying off. That's right. So a couple silver linings here. One is that savings rates are the most attractive they've been in many years. You can actually get 5% now on a totally liquid, totally federally insured savings account. Now on the debt front, my top tip for tackling credit card debt would be to get a 0% balance transfer card. These offers are still widely available. They last as long as 21 months without interest. You can move your existing high cost debt over to a card like the Bank AmeriCard or the Wells Fargo Reflect or the City Simplicity, that could save you a ton of money and interest. All right, Ted Rossman is senior analyst with Bankrate.com. Um, Bankrate is a great place to go when you're shopping those credit cards. And I know, I think it's about every month, right? You come out with the new ones this month. If you're looking for a rewards card versus a zero credit balance card, um, you know, going there and, and seeing how that works best for you. We appreciate you taking some time for us, Ted. No problem, thank you.